One topic that's very popular on this channel is how to create custom front-end dashboards for WordPress. In other words, how you can create a dashboard that allows your user to log in to their own custom dashboard, add content, edit content, delete content, and so on, without getting into the actual WordPress dashboard itself. Lots of reasons why you may want to do this. And today I'm going to show you the secret weapon that makes this whole process so quick and easy. What is that secret weapon? It's WS Form and their post management add-on. Let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So this is WS Form. I would recommend taking a look at the website. But what we're going to focus on is what's called the post management add-on. The beauty of this is that it works not only with native WordPress options, but you can also use it with custom post types. So if you use things like advanced custom fields, Jet Engine, those kinds of tools, it will work with those as well. So when you create custom post types, you can create your own front-end dashboard to handle them. This opens up a ton of possibilities. And the way this post management add-on works, it is incredibly easy to work with. Let me give you a demonstration of how easy it is. So into a standard WordPress dashboard, I've got some custom post types and custom taxonomies and things created. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into WS form, we're going to come in to add a new form. And from there, you can see we've got post management. So I've already installed that post management add on for WS form. If we open this up, that will show us the normal functions we have, so posts and pages and so on, but also show us the three custom post types that I have, agents, estate agencies, and properties. Let's use the agent as a simple example. We'll say, use this template. This is where the magic happens. I don't have to worry about creating the form layout, adding all the different form fields in, making sure I've got the right form fields selected, and then mapping those form fields to the ACF or WordPress data. It's all done for me. Couldn't be easier. If we take a quick look at what we end up with, you can see we've got the title, one of the standard WordPress functions, the slug, which we're going to get rid of the content, which is our normal content area, and featured image. These are just standard WordPress post type options. Underneath, we've got the agent detail section, which has things like the estate agency email, agent properties, agent to agent. So you kind of get the idea. This is all the custom meta information we've got as part of our custom post type. So all this has been done. So what I'm going to do is give it the slugs. We don't want to use that. I'm going to click, choose the X, confirm, done. So if we take a look now, if we select any of these form elements and click on the little cog icon, you can see we get a ton of options now available. So we can say we want to show the label, we can set it required, we can even hide fields if we want to, which is something you want to do when you want to create edit or trashing and options and things like that. There's a lot of options inside you. You can come into advanced, for example. There's more things then to do with your label positioning, restrictions, and so on. And you can have certain levels of security, so only the actual user that creates the content can edit the content and so on. There's lots of really useful features. It's a very developer-focused tool, something that really opened my eyes to how quick and easy this whole process could be. So we're going to take a look at that mapping side of things. Let's come over to the actions. And this is where you can set up what happens when someone submits this. And this works in any kind of post type. You've got your post management option and a show message. So this is kind of like a structure of this will happen, then this will happen, then this will happen, like Photoshop does kinds of things. It's kind of like your layers of actions. If we open up the post management, you can see inside here, this allows us to say, when will this action run? So obviously when the form is submitted, the post type, so it connected up to our custom post type. We can set whether we want it to be published. Most use cases, it's going to make more sense to have something set to either draft or pending. So it waits for approval, so you don't have a problem there. And the author is set to the current user, but again, you have more options available. You could assign this to a very specific author. Lots of things you can do. And restrict the updates to author. So if this is an update action, only the author can actually make changes to it. Up to you if you want to do it. Obviously, it makes sense you have an administrative version as well. You can kind of set this up and build this in lots of different ways. This is what I mean. This is a very, very powerful plugin that allows you to do so much more than just create basic forms. Then underneath, we've got all our field mapping. So you can see our title, for example, is mapped to the title. The slug, we've removed it. We don't need it, so it's going to be ignored. The content, again, is the content. So underneath there, we've got our ACF field mapping. So if we open this up, you can see it shows us all our fields. Go to the next one, open this up. It shows us what we can map them to. So if for any reason something goes wrong, you can map it yourself. Or if you want to add a field in that you've maybe made some changes and you don't want to redo the form, you can simply come in, add that new ACF field in, create the connection to what you need to do with it. But straight out of the box, it's done automatically for you. And like I say, 
This is one of those things that on a simple form would take you a few minutes. However, when you've got a form that maybe has 50 or 60 different entries and maybe 20 or 30 different forms for a custom front end dashboard, that all becomes a huge time waster. Plus there's the scope just to make errors and issues where you don't connect the right thing up, things don't work, you've got a fault find, you get the idea. So this is all kind of handled for us. Process any ACF validation, so these things are set up as well. And then you can simply save this and you've got everything set up ready to go to add new content in. You can see how quick and easy it is. Then you've got a second show message, so we click on here. This will show a sort of success message, and if you want to add something else in, so let's say, for example, you want to show that success message, then after two seconds, you want to forward it to a different page. Well, you can add a new action in. We'll choose the action from here. We'll say redirect. We can then click how do you want to handle this. So you can redirect to a URL, a page, or a post ID. Let's go to a page. We can search our pages. For example, let's just say the home page. You can click, and then that action will now take place once we're ready. So you can see the post management will take place once it's submitted. We'll get the confirmation message. Then it'll redirect to whatever page we've set up. So you can see that very quickly and easily we can customize how this all works. You can also easily customize the form. So we look at the bottom. You can see we're currently looking at the mobile version of this. Switch up to tablet version. You can see it adjusts right the way up to extra wide. And then you can customize all this if you want to, so you can easily grab these, position them as you see fit. So you can customize the layout of the form as well. It is very simple. And this is just really just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with WS Forms and the post management function. But then you can save this and you can just simply insert this into your page. But let me give you an example of a slightly more comprehensive way of doing this. And I'll show you the sort of front end and you see how it all works and integrates into a front end dashboard. So what we have here is the ability to manage properties. We can add new properties by simply clicking the add new property option. It'll take us over to a more comprehensive form. We can fill out the relevant information and a new property will be submitted to be confirmed and then added to the website. Come back out of this. You can see if you want to edit one of these properties, we can simply choose to edit. It will pass the information over. We now have all the data for that specific entry pulled into our form. And as you can see, all that data is there. And I can easily come in and start editing and changing any of this content. If you want to delete a property, this is one of the things I really like about WS Form. We click to trash this. It'll say what property it is. We can move this to the trash. Now, the trash gives us 30 days grace. So if we delete something, instead of it being deleted completely from our database, it puts it into the normal trash section for our custom post type. And we can, if we want to, get that back and put it back into our site if for any reason we've accidentally deleted the wrong thing. So having a trash option instead of straight to delete is a real time saver. Now, these are all part of a new course that I have available, which shows you how to build all of this front end dashboard for a property site. If you want to learn more about that, I'll link that in the description down below. But for me, Dell US Forms has just made the whole way of working with creating front end dashboards and adding in the forms to do all the heavy lifting for us. Just something that's quick and easy. And for me, it's not one of those things I've ever enjoyed doing in the past. It's been a necessary evil to get the job done. So if you want to learn more, all the links to everything will be down in the description down below, along with information about the course I've just released. If you want to learn more about working with Bricks, check out this playlist next. There's over 50 tutorials there that'll get you up and running right the way from beginner through to intermediate and advanced topics. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.